Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sensible Sign and welcome back to another Dragon Soul video. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about a new hero that came out and some uh, sign-in bonuses that are going on. So if you guys aren't aware of that, hopefully during this video, you guys will find out a little bit more about that. Uh, and again, this is going to be more of an update on how I've been doing in the game and not so much as like tips or anything. I am, however, going to start making... I'm going to start making a rune guide that hopefully will help most of you guys out on placing runes for heroes. Uh, but I will make a disclaimer right now. So far, I haven't been doing too well in the fight pit. So uh, I apologize for that. I'm definitely going to do some research and see uh, which heroes are best to use there. Um, before we begin the video, I just want to give some shout outs to some of the fans that uh, have contacted me on server 6. So we have Chris Xmas. He's a pretty cool dude. He's been a fan and a subscriber for a while already. And a new person that I want to give a shout out to is Diamond Cool 89. He's another fan that has seen a lot of my videos. And shout out to you, man. I appreciate all the support. Uh, and again, I'm hoping to make videos that'll kind of touch on some of the stuff that you guys are uh, worried about or some tips that you guys want. Uh, so as far as the new hero So they currently haven't even released this one yet. You can't get soul runes for this, but this is Whoa Sorry about that guys. So this is a uh, This was one of the bosses for the campaign mode a while back so I'm guessing that in the future they're gonna have a uh, Umlaut the fifth as a hero as well because this used to be the main boss back in the a while back. So let's see some of her abilities. So Haboob Death Ball. So the Anubis Dragons Haboob Death Ball summons a powerful ball that deals that 16.73 physical damage points and lowers their and lowers I'm guessing the enemy's attack and movement speed by 75% for 4 seconds and those numbers will go up as you level up the white ability. This skill cannot be disabled upon receiving and any incoming enemy attacks. Okay, so once she does that Haboob Ball, uh, it's basically a defensive attack if you think about it. So the Anubis Aura. So at the start of each battle wave, Anubis Dragon will cast a powerful spell that will deal herself that much extra skill power points every 8 seconds until the end of the battle wave. That's not too good. It reminds me of that Minotaur ability that I thought was going to be good, but it's not. Hey, look at that. Uh, that symbol. That's the, I made you look below my legs. The nut spot? No, what's it called? I don't know. That has a name. Can't remember what it is. So, Darkness Hands. Siphon and mold dark energy and demonic hands that will attack the enemy with the highest skill power dealing 575 Necromagic damage and silence them for six seconds. So it's gonna find the best hero in the enemy team and it is gonna hit them and silence them for six seconds. So that's pretty cool. And that's expected to go up as you level it up. Deliverance. When Anubis dies, all enemies tagged with Reverent will come back to life with 88.95 HP and zero energy points. This skill is ineffective to allies that already died in the previous battle wave. Uh, this one's kind of cool. It uh, it revives your team. So, what is reverence? Though? I'm assuming that that's like all the undead heroes. Maybe does this have reverence? How do I know if it has reverence? Stats. Let me look at all my heroes' stats. I want to see which ones actually have reverence. How do you check if they have reverence? Oh, this one. See, so like if you're. Uh, if your spirit wolf dies in fight pit, it'll come back to life with that uh, Anubis dragon. So will this one? And this one? Hey, most of my top heroes will come back to life. Interesting. So that's kind of that's that's probably gonna be a good hero to level up, guys. Well, as far as the heroes that I like, so Anubis dragon is probably one that I should level up because she benefits a lot of my favorite heroes. That's pretty cool. So that's one update that's been going on. Another one is the sign-in bonus, guys. If you guys aren't taking advantage of your winter sign-in bonus, uh, you guys aren't living, I guess. 
So I've already claimed my 25 energy and I've claimed my five purple tickets. Now, if you guys don't know what these uh, gear tickets are for, uh, let's say you have a purple teammate, for example, like uh, right now I'm currently in the process of leveling up Snapper Turtle, Snapper Bone, but let's use a different one, for example. So like your Cosmic Elf, right? Um, let's say you're missing this, right? You could use one of your tickets to buy that item. So those tickets are pretty cool. That's a good addition to the game. I actually used up all five of mine already when I made a uh, I made a video before this, but then like the audio wasn't good, so I used them all up during that. I'm looking forward to these to these orange tickets, and if they had red tickets, that oh they got cyan tickets. No way, dude! They got cyan tickets. You could actually buy cyan items with these. That's really cool. So yeah, make sure you guys sign in during winter. Uh, it goes all the way until January. If you sign in every day, you're going to get some of these cool bonuses. Um, so yeah, look forward to that. Now, as far as Fight Pit, I told you guys... Actually, I don't remember if I've mentioned it yet. But I haven't been doing too well in the Fight Pit. I can't seem to kill these guys. Even this Khaleesi Raven person. Khaleesi, by the way, that's from uh, Game of Thrones. But I can't beat them, and they only have 300 energy. Like, his team is really freaking good. Let's see. Um, in the rough draft, I guess, of this video, I tried some stuff out, and it didn't work. So I'm going to try some more stuff out. That probably won't work, but it's worth trying it out. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to use these. Hopefully, like, I'm using, like, some defensive heroes so I could, like, hopefully last a little bit longer. Because, I don't know, for some reason, this guy, as you see, takes out my team in, like, three seconds. Their Caillou and their Spectral Drake are just out of this world, dude. Ah, so I need some tips on some better top five heroes, guys. Uh, give me some suggestions. I'll definitely look into it. I probably don't have enough energy to level them up, but I might buy some diamonds or something in the future. But dang, they're expensive. Um, so I'm definitely looking for tips on that. On Coliseum, I'm not doing too bad. I am in the top five and I'm only 1.8 million. So that's not too bad. Um, if you guys are in server six, by the way, and you guys are active players, my guild is by no means anywhere near the best. We have 30 people in the guild right now and a lot of them are inactive but if you guys want to join or help out that'd be greatly appreciated you see some of these guys haven't been on for like 50 days um we do have rules for ranking up so let me let me go to the guild wall so you guys could see that if you guys are interested in our guild like we'd be more than happy to have you here so if you want to have like an officer rank for example uh you need to be a member for a month and just have level over 100 and things like that so if you guys are interested in our guild and you want to play with me um we're in server six and our guild is called the band of the hawk so look for us and again we'd be more than happy to have you guys in our guild helping out and if you guys want to leave tips by all means i will be more than help happy to rank you guys up to the same rank that i have which is uh you yeah, I'm a captain, so I could rank, rank you guys up to captain if you guys uh, exceed in every area of the of the game, or excel, I should say. Uh, I don't want to rank up too many people because we've had incidents before where captains abuse their power and like kick a lot of our members out. That kind of ruins the guild. So that all being said, guys, this is just an update. Um, look forward to some Dragon Soul videos within the next week. Also, I'm planning on doing top five like app games. <clears throat> so if you guys are interested in finding other app games that are pretty fun to play, I am going to make a video on that as well. Um, yeah, so I've asked different people what their favorite app game is. So I'm going to do one from different genres and then I'll rank them. So like I'm going to have an MMORPG best app that I like, a RPG app, a first person shooter app and a like different different types but i'm gonna try to do a top five on my favorites so if you guys are interested in that uh stay tuned for that it should be coming out within the next week uh as far as dragon soul goes i am planning to make an in-depth video on rune guides for heroes so 
Stay tuned for that as well. Damn, I have a lot of rune energy, so I don't even know how to use that. So, that all being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if this video wasn't too entertaining, but uh, this is more, more of an update, like I said at the beginning. So, that all being said, guys, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in a video pretty soon. Hopefully, a more interesting one. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. And shout out again to Chris X, Chris Xmas, and... Um, the boy diamond cool 89 for uh joining my guild and and just helping out and being great in the guild so thank you guys and thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in a new video pretty soon peace out y'all